right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new episode of Will Cheese Fail Cold Cast Marathon. This is a grand master game. GM. Damn. Oh yeah, it's going down, Jimmy Brown. Damn. It's going down. This is, this is, I feel like I need to sit up for this now. You do need to sit up. I need to sit up. It's going to be intense. Get ready for the madness. Sitizity. All right. Mr. Maximus Black. Yes, sir. Hit me up with the sound of getting jiggy with it. Na 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 getting jiggy with it. Up here in the top left position of Prion Terraces, we have Jig. And in the bottom right here, we have the uh, blue Terran Jason. That wouldn't be Jason Poppin, but da ba 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 da ba da ba ba the Greek, would it? Sure. Yes, it is. And you know what? That's a proxy hatch. Oh boy. Jason's got to put up with a proxy hatch. Jason's been in our community since the dawn of time. Yes. And he's been one of, I think, maybe three that has gone on to be a legitimately like good StarCraft player. Mm hmm. He's really good. Yeah. Uh, he's wrecked me the last four times I've played him. Yeah, he's not. He's, he doesn't fuck around. I've taken, I've taken one game off him since Legacy of the Void. He didn't know it was me. And I cheesed him. And it succeeded. And that was how it Now worked. he knows it's me. It's so he just, prepares for it. And it never works. It's ripping pepperoni. Oh, yeah. He's too good. No, he's, he's pretty good. So he's going to he's gonna put up with this proxy hatch at an interesting location, to be sure. It is not one of the usual immediately all up in your grill proxy hatches. It has got some distance to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason is looking around the map here. He notices that there's no natural. He knows He's going, hmm, up. well, did the Zerg take the golds? No, it doesn't seem like it. Interesting. So at this point, Jason's probably going to be thinking something fishy's going down. And I'm sure we're going to see SCV start looking, a Reaper looking all over the place. Uh, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's, he's, he knows something's going on. He just needs to find it. That's it. He senses fuckery. Yeah, look at this. And he is going to find it. Yes, he is. And just like that, a Roach Warren is going down. This is going to be a really, really aggressive build. Essentially, it's going to be one base. It's going to be, a, um, I'm going to assume, a Ravager push. Roach Ravager. Uh, and he's also there with the gold in case he needs to kind of step back a little bit he gets and, uh, he gets at least three of those uh of those mineral field uh within reason of being all the same if it was in a regular position for that hatch yeah very true so uh so he gets he gets some of the benefit of it there while also getting some of the benefit of the proximity of the hatch to the uh the opening there ramp of the natural expansion of jason so there it is there's the queen there's three roaches and there he goes he's getting up there just as that bunker finishes imagine if he was there not five seconds earlier well the bunker is going to go down regardless he's going to have to salvage this bad boy and that's exactly what he does uh he's also going to have to as soon as this is done lift this off and retreat back into his base he, uh, he lifts up the supply depot. He's putting back a bunker in, in behind. You can't put the bunker anywhere close because those roaches will be able to get it from here. Uh, the Reaper being able to poke a little bit, dropping some bombs. He's got three of them. Uh, he's, he needs a repair. He's got two more SCVs there. Is it going to be enough? Yes, he manages to get those on. And now he's going to go ahead and fight. The great thing about Reapers now is you can actually use them against Roaches and use them very effectively. It, it, when you're when you're a Terran player and a good one like Jason, you just get used to the momentum of them. You just know how they're going to fly uh, when, when the bombs go off, and then you can kite accordingly. Look how well uh, yep. they're doing. And I've watched Nathanius do this as well, and I was very surprised to see... Uh, how strong Reapers are now that because Reapers, of that. What did I say when we first saw the Reapers yeah. with those bombs? Yeah. Is it is going to be the defining thing of a high-end Terran player mm -hmm. is the use of those bombs and Reapers are going to be like the new favorite baby unit of high-end Terran players, especially the Koreans. I can guarantee your ass. I haven't even watched a lick of professional StarCraft in forever. I, tell you, I can just take a stab at it. Somebody in chat or on YouTube can tell me Koreans are using these things like nice they're going micro. out of style. Nice micro but there. The micro is beautiful. Keeping right now. keeping that Reaper alive, throwing off those bombs. The Zerg is in a world of trouble. Uh, he is now going to put a spine crawler down into his main just in case there uh, is a drop or some sort of run by up there, uh, which is nice. But man, these bombs just little by little are picking apart at these roaches. He doesn't have. 
um, a burrow yet, so he's not going to be able to, you know, regenerate health quickly with those roaches. Uh, all, all he can really do is just commit to an attack and push forward, and that's what he's going to do. But look at this. Look at the micro scene, scene. of the bombs. They're being thrown back. Scene. They can't get close that's at it. him. They can't get that's close. It. That's what I'm saying. They're... When you do that, you can't get close. It interrupts their attacks. Yes. That's the most important part, and that's what I pointed out forever ago, is oh that my jump God. interrupts their attacks, and it turns your it turns it something into damage and disruption much like you would see and i'm not to make this a weird awkward comparison but much as you would see in league of legends where you're doing a damage but the interruption is more important yep. and in this case that is exactly why he was able to turn a group of reapers into a force that just took out a queen and a hell of a lot of roaches. And there's that one guy in chat that was going on about his Reaper replay. I bet you that wasn't even close to what we're seeing here no. in terms of Reaper control. He is winning this game against proxy roaches. There was a day when roaches were the bane of 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 Reapers. You, you just yeah. as soon as you saw them, you're like, ah shit, well there goes that. Now, with the right control and the right placements of those grenades, uh, there is so much that you can do with them. Just fantastic work here. I mean, Jason's making this look real easy too. Like this is not what he's doing is not particularly easy. No. Nope. Uh, you really have to be manipulating the direction of where your uh, your opponent is going, uh, and be able to, to keep that up with your bomb placements. You can see that he has a general oh. idea of what he's trying to do with them. There it is now. Oh. He's just placing it in front because he knows the range of the of the of the roaches. He places them just in front of them, not in them. Most people would put them in behind. You don't want to knock the roaches necessarily towards you. You want to get them with a couple of attacks and push them back. And so when they move towards you, before they can get their hits off, they're getting launched backwards again. And then you can take in and hit up. And when you have a group of these Reapers like this, you never run out of bombs to be laying. Oh, man. You use two or three at a time, and that's it. You get your damage, you push them back, you interrupt them, and that's what you do. You'll see that he'll do his best to never knock them forward to Towards them, always backwards and interrupt the attacks. Yeah, these charges are there just so well placed, uh, and and the micro in behind them as well. He's literally going reapers. That is the show. He's on two base. The Zerg is now grabbing a natural of himself uh, uh, for himself, but I, I think it's I think it's a little bit too late. I think this game is over. I really think this game is over. Well, at this point, he's still on one base. He's just getting his expansion now. But this whole time, Jason's just been building up in behind this. Oh, that was a good trade there for the, Zerg. We don't even have the, the, the production tab up right now. Do we now. need it? There it is. Guess what he's getting? We got one Ravager going. I've got uh, a fever, and the only prescription is more Reaper. <laughs> yeah, Reaper's all There it is. All just the getting, times. They, you can't attack. They just get bounced around all over the place. So you can only get in and attack here and there, and it does damage. Oh, these charges, man, are just so damn good. And now he's got so many Reapers, he can just throw charges for days. Some of them getting blown from back. Some of them going forward. Oh, my God. A huge hit there. And oh, oh my wrecked. goodness. This is disgusting to watch. Now, you'll notice the nice thing about this is some people might cry OP. But the nice thing about this is you'll notice as, as good as Jason is doing here, it's not like he is just cleaning house no. and going in. This he, is requiring a lot here. He's got to put in a lot of work, and, and to be able to do this and macro at the same time, you're doing well for yourself. Yeah, there's the GG. But there it is. You can't keep that up. And Jig is no joke of a player. He's also a ladder hero. Uh, really high-level uh, game there. What a great display of what Reapers can do now with those charges. Uh, very well done uh, by Jason. Both players, I mean, it was a good cheese. It was in a good position. Uh, and even our Zerg had a couple of engagements there er, there that worked better for him than Jason. Right. It's just that he became, uh, he just overwhelmed them with the, with the Reapers and just didn't lose too many of them. Uh, and the number just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What a fun game to cast. What a fun game to watch. Uh, that was, I think, number 17 or number 18. 17 or 18, one or the other. It doesn't matter, but we're, that was a that was a sick we're definitely, display. Uh, we're definitely going to put him up, that replay, in the top three for two. today. Oh, yeah. The, well, the, that that other one is still number one. It's still number one, but that's definitely... In terms, I think of, this is in terms two. of entertainment. I think this is two. Uh, this, is, uh, this is looking like the second place. Uh, it's either between that one and the first game that we had. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and look at those, but he's definitely in the top three. Uh, and for those who don't know, first place for the best replay is going to get a $200 uh, Yord Woodwatch gift card. 
at $50 G2A1. Uh, second place, $100 Yord, $50 G2A. And third place, $50 Yord, $50 G2A. Yep. So, um, people it, are going to be is, winning uh, stuff. People are going to be winning stuff for sending in awesome replays. And this was a really good one. Um, I can't really, I can't give it that number one spot because the cheese wasn't all that, like, spect- it wasn't like, it, it was more of a display of, of, of holding that cheese, yeah, but but with in in a very sexy fashion with the reapers. Well, I suppose sexy as you can get. Very very high level, but I think in terms of of wackiness, uh, and yeah. the spirit of when cheese fails, uh, we definitely got to give it in the top. I three. think what needs to happen is we need to get a uh, we we'll uh, get a vote going. Uh, we get a vote going. A vote going, but yep. I think what I need what I need in my life right now is I need somebody to take like this footage and then take the sounds from Ziggs. In uh, in in League of Legends, with his satchel, and then every time Jason like plants this, just have Ziggs laughing in the background with the satchel explosion every <laughs> single time, and I think my life will be complete because that's exactly what this. As soon as I saw it, I was like, "That's the Zig satchel. That's that's exactly what this is, and it's fun, and there's a lot that you can do with it." And Jason just showed off uh, what I, I I I was. This is what I envisioned. When we first saw them with with like yeah. bronze oh, people, oh, you said it, you said it. With yeah. bronze people, was you you get it, and it interrupts the attack, mm-hmm. which is the most important part. But if you can do that, and in this game where they step forward to get in range of attacking, and you're planting the bombs forever in front of them, mm-hmm. if he's not paying attention to that happening, mm-hmm. he gets forever knocked back, infinite damage, and his attack gets interrupted, and then Jason just moves forward and goes, ha, 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 fires off a few rounds, steps back, bombs, and then just keeps laughing. Yep. And that's that's some high level sick rank three Terran NA from Jason. Right there. Let's go, baby. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go, Jason, the Lag TV crew. Let's uh, go. Well, let's go, Loot Crate. 10% off. Let's go, G2A. 3% off. And let's a go, uh, your Woodwatch. $20 off till December 31st. 5% after that. Thank you very much, guys. We will be back with some more.